do want to say that I did move into a bigger place. Hello. So it's currently Tuesday night, 6 p.m. And I'm moving on Friday. The movers are coming. I haven't packed a lot. Like I did some initial things. So I'm going to spend the rest of the evening packing. So I've actually been listening to the audiobook version of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. If you guys didn't know, through your Spotify premium subscription, you actually get, I think, 15 hours a month worth of audiobook listening. So I didn't know. My sister actually let me know about this audiobook and I've been really liking it so far. And she also let me know about the fact that we have this premium benefit. I just had no idea about it. Anyway, it's time to pack. I think I'm going to tackle my desk. I have some things in my desk drawer that I have. Um, and then maybe my clothes. I have a lot of clothes to pack up. So I'm gonna get that done today. Sleepy boy. Why so sleepy? You did nothing. This isn't for you. I actually need to go to Home Depot tonight because I ran out of packaging tape and I actually went to Home Depot this past weekend to buy moving boxes and my sister told me get an extra roll of tape because I'm gonna run out faster than I think and I just didn't listen to her I was just being stubborn and I said no one will be enough um, but she was right so the moral of the story is that your siblings may be right so you should just listen to them um, unlike me <laughs> but anyway I'm gonna have my dinner real quick and head to Home Depot. Alright, so I just finished packing for the night. I think I need to end here because I'm really tired and I just want to take a shower and fall asleep soon but this is everything that I have packed away already and I wanted to ask like is this a lot or am I just a hoarder because I'm just one person and I feel like this is a lot of stuff. So it's officially moving day. I've been moving since 9 a.m. this morning. Um, yeah, I'm really tired. The movers are still moving some boxes inside of my new apartment, but I'm hoping that this will be done soon so that I could get settled and pick up Howell from his cat sitter. Once the movers left, I immediately started unpacking and organizing so that Howell could feel more at home when I bring him over. 
This entire moving process was honestly a lot more tiring than I expected and it made me realize that I should learn how to depend on people more. I'm not sure if it's portrayed through my videos but I am a very hyper independent person and I find it hard to accept help from others even when they offer it. Although it can be a good thing, there are moments where I realize things would have been easier if I just ask for help or just accept the help that's given to me. Maybe it's something I'll work on this year, but for now, I'm just happy the apartment move went smoothly. kitchen, new apartment, new everything. I've been here for the past two days. I've just been working on unpacking everything and settling in and I'm honestly so tired. I feel like my face is really bloated because I'm so tired but I've been moving alone like I didn't have any help um, so it's been very exhausting. I did hire movers to obviously move all of my boxes and all my furniture because yeah there was no way I was gonna do that alone but yeah I did hire movers and it was my first time hiring movers and it was so efficient so convenient so I think I'm gonna tell all my friends to just hire people because it's just so much easier that way but yeah the entire packing and unpacking process though has been really exhausting on my body so I've just been taking it slow um, but yeah I wanted to kind of give you guys a quick tour of my new place I do want to say that I did move into a bigger place I think it's like nearly 200 square feet bigger than my old apartment but yeah let me show you guys around Alright, so I'm currently standing in front of my entryway door. To the left of it, I do have a den and this will become my office space. As you could see, I still have a lot of boxes to go through, but this is really good progress because I had over 20 boxes, I believe. So I reduced it down to like half, but yeah, I'm really excited to set this space up. Now towards the right, this is the laundry room slash storage space. I'm also going to put Howell's litter box here just because I think um, it's the best place to put it in this apartment. Now going forward, this is the kitchen and I'm really excited for this kitchen because it's like a way bigger kitchen than what I had in my previous apartment. I really love cooking as well so um, I'm just excited to have a bigger space to cook. In my old apartment, I barely had any countertop space, so I always had to put my rice cooker in storage, but now I could leave it out because I use it very often. Then this is the bathroom. I still have a lot of organizing to do, but I love that the mirror kind of spans the entire wall, so it gives the illusion that it's a lot bigger. These are boxes I need to unpack. And then here is the living space. You could see Howell is currently taking a little nap. But yeah, I think this is pretty big and spacious. This was the main reason why I picked this apartment was because there is built-in AC. Um, yeah, I have a TV console coming soon. I might get Howell a new um, cat tree, like a bigger one and put this in my bedroom or something. Then here is the bedroom. I have a true one bedroom now. And I mentioned in my previous vlogs, this is one of the top requirements that I really wanted. And I have a walk-in closet now. Please ignore all of the mess. I have not unpacked anything, but yeah. I'm excited to have a full walk-in closet now. All right, so that is it for my mini apartment tour. I will say that it's only been two days here in my new space and I'm already so much happier than when I was in my old space. I think my old place, I really enjoyed it for the first few months, but eventually I mentally, emotionally, and just physically outgrew that space and I really needed like a separation with my workstation at home with my living room. I think that was like the main thing that was really hard for me was that my live and work area was 
in the same space so i'm really happy that i have a den now i've been contemplating for quite a while before i signed this lease and i decided that i really want to invest in my um, home in my environment because I spend a lot of time at home. It's definitely an investment but I could already tell that it was a really good decision for me so yeah I'm really happy for this new space. I'm just so happy to decorate it now um, but yeah I think I'm just gonna rest a little bit more before I set up my desk because I'm still really tired <laughs> and my body needs a break. Even though I've been physically tired from all the moving, I think the excitement in being in a new space and environment has kept me going. I feel like this move was a good way to start the new year for me and to be honest, I'm feeling a bit nervous about this upcoming year. I'm someone that strives for growth but I'm feeling a bit lost in where I want to focus my energy in and how I want to grow as a person. But personally, I don't really believe in New Year's resolutions, so for now, I think I'm just gonna focus on prioritizing what makes me happy, and I'm so excited to bring you guys along on my journey. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon.